You want me to put that on my todger? Heart of Invictus. Trailer. Trouble. Hello, I'm H.G. Judah. It's 23 days until the Invictus Games take place in Dusseldorf. But finally, the trailer has appeared in relation to the programme Heart of Invictus, which relates to the Invictus Games which took place last year at The Hague. With it comes a demonstration of various things, but we'll get to those in a moment. It helps to set the scene somewhat about what the Invictus Games Foundation is all about. And going to their website, one's immediately met with inspiring recovery through sports, esports, and adventurous challenge. A lofty ideal indeed, and an appropriate one. Beneath, there are three uh, thumbnails. Support our work, attending Vectors Games Dusseldorf 2023, and the first one is Heart of Invictus naturally making reference to the film that has been created. Clicking on that takes you to another page, and this only went up yesterday, and it starts off with Archwell Productions, in partnership with Invictus Games Foundation, introduces Heart of Invictus, from the Oscar-winning team of director Orlando von Einsiedel and producer Joanna Natasigara, and then gives some of her credentials. The series follows a group of extraordinary competitors around, from around the globe, all service members, who have experienced life-changing injuries or illnesses on their road to the Invictus Games, The Hague. The multi-episode series joins the competitors as they train, and along the way reveal powerful stories of resilience and hope. The series also follows the organisers as they work to prepare for the games alongside each nation's team, supporting the competitors as well as their friends and family. The Heart of Invictus documentary will be officially launched on August the 30th with five one-hour episodes. The Invictus Games Foundation served as an executive producer on the series. And this project proje uh, provided significant funding to the charity, supporting our work to continue engaging and empowering the Invictus community. That provides more information and the trailer was launched just yesterday, just under a couple of minutes in length. The first piece of good news is that Harry's wife doesn't appear at all in the trailer. Huzzah! What the trailer does is show the various athletes, their families, with some appearance by Prince Harry, a little bit of voiceover from him, with suitably inspiring words. He comes across reasonably well in it, and it certainly benefits from the omission of Harry's wife. It sets the tone about it being rehabilitation, achievement, pride, etc. And there are suitable images of the athletes training and competing. It would certainly be sufficient, I think, to pique people's interest to learn more about what is involved. But where it becomes interesting and demonstrates the problem that this organisation now has is that hitherto it benefited from Prince Harry's involvement because he was well known. He was also, of course, an ex-serviceman and therefore had an understanding of some of the issues that the individuals who have competed in the Games faced. He was able to talk about it from a position of understanding and knowledge and, as a prominent individual that was known around the world, he had some gravitas to enable the Games to gain momentum and support. Accordingly, his involvement previously was a plus. The whole reason why you involve a well-known, a famous person is because people are interested in them and they think, oh, well, if they're involved, I'd like a piece of the action too. 
So people sign up to be involved in the organization. People sign up to compete. People say, yes, we will sponsor events, etc. They're drawn by the presence of that famous person or famous people. The problem, of course, is that along came a spider. And then Harry ended up marrying someone who is deeply unpopular. And not only that, she has caused him to become unpopular also. His narcissistic traits have been brought to the fore. He's listened to her, responded to the poison poured in his ear, behaved disgustingly towards his family, etc. You know the drill. And the consequence of that is that a narcissist has caused him to become infected and unpopular also. And this unpopularity shines through. At the time of talking to you, the video for the trailer had been out less than 24 hours and had 51,739 views on Netflix's own YouTube channel. At that point, it had 1,500 likes. It also had 2,900 dislikes, nearly double. That shows the extent to which Harry and his wife have become pariahs. Here you have an organization which you'd struggle to criticize. It's a charitable organization that is geared up to provide people who have given the service to their countries from all around the world, from Denmark, from the United Kingdom, United States, wherever it might be. There's a whole range of different competitors, some of whom are mentioned in the trailer, some of whom who appear on the website, so you get a flavor for where all of these places that they come from. And yet, you have this worldwide organization that's aim is to assist with the rehabilitation of people who have been injured in a life-changing way or suffered illnesses in a life-changing way and have a good conceit of themselves to bring back some pride for them, to give them direction and motivation. Even a cynic such as me can identify and understand how that's a worthwhile enterprise. And yet... Notwithstanding that you have an organization that creates or is involved in the creation of a film that showcases what it is about, it gets double the dislikes. Why? Those people, naturally, are not disliking the Invictus organization per se. They're certainly not disliking the servicemen and service women who have been involved in the organization and compete, etc. Certainly not. They're showing their disapproval of Harry and his wife. And this poses a problem. It's a trouble for the organization. Your main patron has become a burden to you. That people are only watching, or many people are only watching, the trailer because they want to be able to see if there's anything that they can comment about adversely about Harry and his wife. Sure, there are plenty of people who are encouraging the organization and what it stands for. You only have to look into the comments. People writing, can't wait to watch it. I love Invictus. Just amazing. Thank you for all your service. I'm so proud of every one of them. Respect. Thanks, Netflix. Thanks, Invictus Games. Can't wait to watch this. To all veterans, thank you for your services. Thank you for your service and your sacrifices. To all veteran competitors on Invictus, we salute you. Paralympic athletes deserve respect, etc. So many people are hailing quite properly the veterans. However, it doesn't take long before the comments appear slating Harry and Harry's wife. One person writes, I certainly hope Harry doesn't make a dime off this movie. All proceeds should go to Invictus and charity. Thank God Harry's wife wasn't in the previews. What a mess that would have been. Here's hoping Harry's contribution is all in the trailer and the real 
heroes shine. This would be great if only Harry was left out. Somebody commenting on the number of dislikes, uh, which earlier on stood at 2.7 thousand. 2.7 thousand dislikes. I can't. And then it's crying laughter emoji face. Harry and Harry's wife are literally a curse. Next person writes, more vets, less Sussex. My personal opinion is that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should donate 100% of all of their revenues from Netflix regarding Heart of Invictus minus production costs, other than the Sussexes themselves, as they should not profit from their involvement in Heart of Invictus in any manner to Invictus. What a great and inspiring organisation. Shame that funds are going through Archwell, which only gives 5% back to charities. I can't in good conscience watch something supposedly charitable that is paying for Harry's private jets and luxury expenses to show up, especially after seeing how high-handed he and his wife were at the last games. They looked like wealthy sports team owners, rather than genuine, unselfish supporters, what with Harry's wife's designer, designer wardrobe and puzzling co-star role, even had the cheek to merchandise her non-selling children's book. Too bad. For their sacrifice and other rights and service, our veterans deserve a better advocate, representative, and someone who doesn't merch off their trauma. Please stop talking. Just Harry. Somebody else, a tear from my left eye. Another, I'd have preferred less of Harry's voice, but this is just the trailer. Hope the series is really about the veterans. The profit should all go to the veterans and not the Harkles. It is sad they're exploiting the veterans for their own gains. And yeah, for sure, anyone who just speaks up and say the truth will just be called haters. Great respect to the athletes. Will they receive any profits from this documentary? Will their teams? Who will profit the most? Many people, including me, would watch if we knew the athletes and their teams would receive most of the proceeds. We don't want to exploit the athletes to line pockets of the Sussexes. Be transparent, Netflix. The veterans should get 100% of the money. Why is it even included in their Netflix deal? Hopefully this year it will be about the veterans and not a fashion show. You have to be an extremely miserable person to use disabled veterans to rehab your own reputation. Everyone with minimal decency would be grossed out. Sad for the veterans. It's going to be interesting to see how many millions will now be made from Netflix, Has Been and His Wife or Invictus. I'm guessing these veterans are being paid for this, as we all know Has Been and His Wife were. The voice of Harry really reminded me of the moment he talked about his todger and Elizabeth Arden in spare and really ruined the moment. However, I appreciate Harry's wife is not there. The dislikes outweigh the likes outweigh the likes at the time of typing this. This is so sad for our veterans. Invictus needs to ditch Harry and his wife. And on the comments go. Don't need Harry in there. Commenting on the dislikes. I have enormous respect for all the veterans. However, I cancelled Netflix just before that horrendous six-part documentary came out. She should have no part whatsoever. Paralympic athletes need a representative who isn't a drug addict. Looking forward to seeing it, especially since a certain someone is nowhere in sight, thank God. These athletes are amazing. Invictus Games shouldn't be used as part of Harry and Harry's wife's Netflix deal. It should have been kept completely separate. It's okay trying to get better PR for themselves when it damages the importance of games and why it was created in the first place. First person you see, Harry. Last person you see, Harry. Summary, it's about Harry. Shameful disrespect of our servicemen and women. I have huge respect for these athletes and veterans in general, but sadly I cannot bring myself to watch anything these two disgraceful excuses of human beings promoting themselves as Duke and Duchess are producing and endorsing. Harry has behaved so horribly in the past five years that it is totally against my moral standards, my family values and my human decency. His wife is not even worth a mention. It's sad, as those veterans would deserve so much better, but on my part this series will be a miss. There are many comments which are talking about the courage and bravery of the participants and how people want to watch it, but there is a lot of comments, some of which I've read out to you, but there are plenty of them, which sums up the problem. The dislike for Harry and his wife is now so extensive, it pollutes, corrupts, and infects everything that they're involved in. There might have been a time where people would have thought, okay, I don't like them, but at the end of the day, Heart of Invictus, this is a good thing. 
So let's watch it. Let's get behind the athletes. But such is the level of dislike for Harry's wife and Harry, based upon their own behaviours, it taints this laudable organisation. It causes people to comment as they have done so, that they don't feel as if they are able to set aside their dislike, even for the sake of these athletes, that they feel the need to comment. And it's not just one or two. There are hundreds of these comments. Harry, of course, ought to see this and think to himself, we've become the story again. And we're taking away from the Invictus Games. That's not what I set out to achieve. Possibly he might think it, but I suspect not. Instead, he just plows along, unable to comprehend the level of dislike for his wife and now also him. The very fact that a trailer for a film, which is about people who have given service to their countries and have suffered in some shape or form, ends up with double the dislikes for it. Why? Because of them. Because of Harry's wife and Harry. That is how toxic they have become. People will still watch the Heart of Invictus. There'll be people who watch it because they want to celebrate the athletes and they want to understand more about it. There'll be a lot of people that will watch it because they're waiting to see how much Harry and Harry's wife appear in it and then to be ready to criticise. And therefore, its viewing will be inflated by grudge viewers, if you will. One wonders if the board of the Foundation are looking at this, are having due regard to the impact that the narcissist and her captive are having upon the status of the organisation. They really ought to be thinking hang on a second, look at these comments, look at the dislikes. This has never happened before in relation to our organisation and our endeavours. Those two are the story when it should be about our athletes and the staff that have made all of this happen. We need to jettison Harry. He has become a problem. But of course, he's going to be there in Dusseldorf and his wife will be turning up because she can't miss an opportunity, as she did at The Hague, to try and make it all about the Harry's Wife games. But this trailer demonstrates the troubles that are manifest with now involving Harry's wife and Harry in anything that you do. The people just aren't buying it any longer. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.